Humans have always dreamed of comfortably moving from one destination to another within the blink of an eye. This is essentially the main goal of the Hyperloop. Countries in Europe and Asia are filled with high-speed bullet trains that are capable of bringing passengers from Paris to London or Tokyo to Kyoto within 2.5 hours. The Hyperloop is a project that Elon Musk brought back to light in 2013, and he promised that the Hyperloop would be as easy as an air hockey table inside a tube. However, the Hyperloop seemed like a pipe dream, since no one has yet created a functional Hyperloop system. Can Elon Musk really pull this off and create the Hyperloop? Stay tuned to find out. Elon Musk said recently, via Twitter, that his tunnel building for urban transport business, the Boring Company, will attempt to build a high-speed and still theoretical hyperloop in the coming years. Back in 2013, Elon Musk released a white paper describing what he called the Hyperloop, a new mode of transportation consisting of building a near hard vacuum environment and a tunnel or tube in order to move electric vehicles at high speeds more efficiently inside of them. The white paper, which he titled the Hyperloop Alpha, was published on the Tesla website. Musk, who was upset that California had approved a new high-speed bullet train that was both one of the slowest and most expensive high-speed rail lines in the world. This prompted the revolutionary billionaire to invent something way better and more efficient. Although Musk is not the first individual to think up the idea of the Hyperloop system as it actually dates back to the 1800s. At the time, Musk put the idea out there and encouraged other businesses to run with it. Several companies were founded around the idea, but almost a decade later there are still no commercial applications of the system, though there are a few prototypes out there. What exactly is a Hyperloop? A Hyperloop is a proposed high-speed mass transportation system designed for both passenger and freight transport. The term was invented to describe the modern open source project. Hyperloop is described as a sealed tube or system of tubes with low air pressure through which a pod may travel substantially free of air resistance or friction. The Hyperloop could potentially move people or objects at hypersonic speed while being energy efficient compared with existing high-speed rail systems. If implemented, this could potentially reduce travel times compared to air and train travel over distances of under approximately 1,500 kilometers. The Hyperloop has three major components, which include a tube, a pod, and a terminal. The tube is a large sealed, low-pressure system that can be constructed above or below ground. A coach runs inside this controlled environment and is often referred to as a pod. The pod employs magnetic or aerodynamic levitation using air-bearing skis along with electromagnetic or aerodynamic propulsion to glide along a fixed guideway, which is the terminal's arrival and departure. The Hyperloop concept has its roots in a concept invented by George Medhurst and subsequently developed under the Hand Pneumatic Railway Atmospheric Railway or VAC train. According to Musk's original concept, an electrically driven inlet fan and axial compressor would be placed at the nose of the capsule to actively transfer high pressure air from the front to the rear of the vessel, resolving the problem of air pressure building in front of the vehicle. A fraction of air is shunted to the skis for additional pressure. Augmenting that gain passively from lift due to their shape, Hyperloop 1's system does away with the compressor. While several companies and researchers have been steadily working on Hyperloop for nearly a decade, there is not yet a working example of the system anywhere in the world. Musk founded the Boring Company in December 2016 on the premise that finding fast and effective ways to dig networks of tunnels for vehicles and high-speed trains would end traffic congestion. The main application of TBC's tunnels have been loops, which are similar to the Hyperloop without the low-pressure environment. The idea is that the Hyperloop system recreates the low-pressure environment that an airplane would fly in at high altitudes, but on the ground, or underground in the case of tunnels. 
Unlike airplanes with the Hyperloop, you won't waste time and energy ascending and descending. Instead, it will be all about accelerating and decelerating. The Hyperloop Genesis paper conceived of a Hyperloop system that would propel passengers along the 350 mile route at a speed of 760 miles per hour, allowing for a travel time of 35 minutes, which is considerably faster than current rail or travel times. There are also opportunities to save time and space for onboarding in comparison to airplanes. TBC recently bought some land near Austin, not too far from Tesla Gigafactory, Texas, and it has been secretive about what it is planning at the location. It would be a likely place to deploy a Hyperloop test system. In the past, Musk has also mentioned building Hyperloop systems between Tesla manufacturing facilities in order to help logistical costs, which have been increasing across the industry. SpaceX and TBC have also been working together on their Hyperloop pod competition, which is more about designing the vehicle system inside a Hyperloop tube or tunnel. Musk also claimed Hyperloop, like other underground tunnels, will be immune to surface weather conditions such as hurricanes. However, there is well-documented evidence of subways, which are located in underground tunnels, flooding. For instance, the New York subway flooded in 2012 when Hurricane Sandy hit the coast. The Metropolitan Transportation Authority has since installed floodgates in 68 low-lying subway and Port Authority Trans Hudson stations in Lower Manhattan. Although Musk has argued the technical problems can be solved, the next challenge is whether hyperloops are even economically feasible. In fact, no company has come anywhere close to realizing the vision of the hyperloop. The most tangible achievement to date has been the first test with humans by Virgin Hyperloop, the boring company's main competitor back in November 2020. It resulted in a pod reaching a speed of 100 miles per hour over a 500 meter distance for a few seconds. Virgin Hyperloop lost its co-founder and CEO Josh Geigel last year and has been forced to cut costs to survive, despite links to both billionaire Richard Branson and parent company DP World. In February, Virgin Hyperloop shed half its staff and switched strategy to focus on transporting goods where safety is less of an issue. To help fund its operations, the tunnel digging firm raised $675 million in equity last week from private investors including Sequoia Capital and Peter Thiel's Founders Fund, as well as real estate developers like Tishman Spire. Do you think the boring company would be able to create the Hyperloop? What future do you see for the Hyperloop? Let us know in the comments section below.